Hey guys, and today I'm going to be looking at kind of the talents and builds we're looking at getting if you're going to be playing a Holy Paladin in Miss of Pandaria. Hey guys, Matt here from Play Official, and today, well, now I'm going to be discussing with you Holy Paladins in Miss of Pandaria. So I'm going to open up with our talents. Now obviously, I'm going to go for Holy Spec, and straight off, looking at our build, we're going to get Holy Shock, Word of Glory, Beacon, and Holy Radiance. So, let's have a look at the sort of talents we can get, shall we? So, on our first tier 15, we've got mobility. We have speed of light, 70% movement speed for 8 seconds on a 1 minute cooldown. Long arm of the law, 45 movement speed for 3 seconds after judging, which is on a 5.53 second cooldown. So that's going to be up more than 50% of the time if you need it. And Pursuit of Justice, you gain 10% movement speed at all times, plus an additional 10% per charge of holy power. So, and that only works up to 3 holy power by the way. So because I'm going to be spending my holy power, 1 minute cooldown seems a bit too long, I'm going to go with Long Arm of the Law. So secondly, we've just got our CC. We have Fist of Justice, so this is the same as Hammer of Justice really except it's on a shorter cooldown. I've already got Hammer of Justice, I don't need another. Now our Judgment can slow targets 12 seconds and it's on a 5 second cooldown so obviously we can keep that up constantly but as a healer it's not really, you know, I'm not really going to go around slowing everything so I think in this tree all I can really go for is repentance now tier 45 seems pretty interesting to be honest we have selfless healer which pretty much uh, reduces cast time and improves the amount of healing done by our flash of light we also have eternal flame which is pretty much a heart that consumes holy power we have sacred shield now here I would suggest PvE, either Eternal Flame and Sacred Shield are the best. So, to be honest, you know, Sacred Shield lasts 30 seconds, increases a crit chance of our Word of Glory on the target by 30%. It also absorbs 9.1k damage when the target takes damage, but no more than every 6 seconds. So, that's alright, 9k absorb every 6 seconds. I think I'm going to go for my Sacred Shield. Okay, next we have Clemency, which finishes the cooldown on our Hand of Freedom, Protection and Sacrifice, and Salvation. Five minute cooldown, a bit long, I guess. Unbreakable Spirit. Now, this, whenever we use one of our Holy Powers, it reduces the cooldown on our Divine Shield, Divine Protection, or Lay on Hands by 1% per holy power up to 50% reduction that's pretty good it might mean I can get 2 bubbles, 2 lay on hands in certain boss fights hand of purity reduces well dots on us I'm not bothered about that I'll go from breakable spirit now 75 is the nicest tree for us apart from 90 but obviously I can't yet get those Holy Avenger. Abilities that generate Holy Power will generate 3 charges of Holy Power for the next 20 seconds. Holy Radiance. Light of Dawn. You know, very efficient AoE. Again, we could start using Crusader Strike, Word of Glory, Light of Dawn. You know, so anything that gains us Holy Power can really be very beneficial there. Sanctified Wrath. Holy Shock has no cooldown. I think that's more of a PvP kind of focus to be honest because I can't see myself spamming Holy Shock in PvE. And Divine Purpose. Abilities that cost Holy Power have a 15% chance to cause a Divine Purpose effect which makes our next move that costs Holy Power not consume any Holy Power and be cost as if it had 3. So that's pretty good I guess to be honest. However, I'm going to go for Holy Avenger. 
Thanks for watching my guide to Holy Paladins, Specs and Talents in Mists of Pandaria. If there's any other classes or anything that you're looking for, especially healers, head over to our channel and probably got something for you.